Compare Budapest mm. to uh, uh, Germany and other countries, Budapest is somehow okay, mm. but the salary for workers here, yes. uh, foreign workers, is not, not the best. Okay. They pay them 3 euro here, 3 euro. For hour? Yeah. Well, when I was doing cleaning job in Germany, yes. I, I was paying uh, 14 euro per hour. Wow. Just cleaning, 14 euro, some 3 hours, 4 hours, 5 hours, I do. German people say that Hungary or Budapest student document, they are... Uh, German law does not allow you as a student to work there. The only, the only way you can stay in Germany mm. with this student permit is you stay there without working for uh, 90 days beyond. That ends it. Okay, so that is why you have to yeah, find yeah, a way to out to, yes. to be able to work. Even if you, when they caught you working, they will, they will arrest you. So you have to be hot. Very, very, very careful. careful. Yeah. Is sharing deep secrets that <laughs> These are things that many people will not let you know. Well, but yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. that is why I have to be blunt, me, I have to be honest. Yeah, so. For me, my friends were saying that don't tell anybody, let, let them also come and suffer some. But for me, I will not do that. I am suffering already. Uh, my advice to the, the youth, those who want to come and study here, if you are in high school, if you are doing your bachelor, and you are aiming to come to Europe, America, Canada to study, please make sure you understand computer programming, C++, uh, Python, Java, MATLAB. If you are an engineering student, make sure you know all this. The whole world is moving with technology. If you don't know anything about computer programming, C++, when you come here to do engineering course, you suffer. You suffer. To be frank with you, everybody should have to know. But our, our friends here, they don't want to tell the truth to the people. No, I'm telling the truth. If you want to study in outside, they change their system now. Everything is computer. Everything is computer. So mm. you must know computer programming, C++, Java, Python, there are a lot. Yeah, but so you have to remark, if you said you want to come over here to work, study, work, study and study. study, this is very, very important. important. Computer programming. The, you know, that is why, you said, this is why I, I said no. That is why I started doing these videos, how to live and whatever. Yeah. But many people say, oh, Joel, why are you sharing all these things, like, you, like the way your friend uh, uh, told you? Allow them to come, let them come and suffer yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. no, 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 no. I make mistake. I come so that you learn from my mistake. So if you by yourself go, don't listen to Ross and go and do that, then it is your own problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you self, you know that ah, those guys have been honest with me, then I am my own problem. Yeah. Better you tell the truth to your friend yes. than deceiving the, your friend. Yes, people, mo it's not easy. most of us are deceiving our brothers back home, brothers and sisters back home. That is why people will leave their job, leave their business and come and be stranded well, here. Here we don't patch. If you are, you are petting with your friend, when they get to you, either they'll two of you, they say, oh, and next month uh, uh, I'm taking the, 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 the rent. Where are you going? No, you uh -huh. have to start afresh so, again, yeah. look for. So you cannot live in this country without working. You have to do in, something. In, uh, something they have to do for surviving. Yeah. Whoa. Ah, you have shared a lot, a lot. Thank you, brother. You're welcome. Thank welcome. you, brother, for this wonderful message. I think okay. it will help Africans all around the yeah. world. <laughs> yeah. uh, we say we are planning to come to Europe to study or Hungary or Germany. He has given us a very great insight of how life really is. How to live here in Budapest or Hungary yeah, as okay. well? Yeah, so I've uh, been living in Budapest for many years, so I don't have uh, experience with other cities in Hungary, yeah, okay. uh, living-wise. Um, but overall, I think it's a very nice city. You have a nice... Um, options for going out or even cultural progr programs or sport programs uh, but uh, one thing i don't like is the mentality okay yeah, what do you mean the, by the mentality um that people are not very um i mean they are helping each other but uh, maybe in small circles or, or when something uh, really big happens but but, they are not like welcoming. Yeah, not that welcoming. Okay. Yeah, they're not not necessarily uh, with foreigners. So it's okay. uh, it's uh, very contradictory that uh, usually Hungarian people are um, less welcoming. No, no, no. I mean, the, um, they are proud of their uh, country and 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 the nationality. But I I have experienced in other countries where they they are also proud, but still they are welcoming. Okay. And uh, I have the feeling that in general um, we are not that. I mean, maybe they are just saying, and if they would meet someone, they would be welcoming. But overall, the mentality is that 
we are not as welcoming and even uh, within each other, so with other Hungarians. Oh, even yeah. within them, <laughs> themselves, yeah. okay. So Yeah, but I think if that mentality would change, uh, then, it, then this would be a really nice place to live, so... Wow, so if the mentality change, Hung yeah. Hungary is of a very good place. A, no, I mean, we, of course we have a lot of problems uh, mm. in other places too, uh, probably. So yes. you could compare the pros and cons. Yes. But I think what I would really want to change, uh, or the first thing that I would want to change here is the, the mentality. The mentality. So I think uh, politicians and, and uh, people who have um, like power would, uh, should uh, first um, focus on that. Stop, stop brainwashing the people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then, of course, it's nice if we have new parks. And yes. it's, of course, it's nice if we have, like, it's, it's a developing country. But Yes, uh, we but can still improve. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. The, but yeah, the, the mentality is very important. Okay. I think we are developing, mm. so that's a good thing. And a lot of people are saying that that's good that we are developing. And then, um, but on the contrary, I think it would be better to develop the mental the aspect, yeah, yeah, aspect yeah, first. Yeah, yeah. So mental, she's yeah. mentioned, she's <laughs> she mentioned it many times. So yeah, she's Hungarian. She said so. Uh, okay, so it is only the mental aspect need to be developed. But if not the other aspect, everything okay, is yeah. is okay. Okay. Thank you very much for sharing. You're welcome. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you for asking. You're welcome. I, I really, I, I have some questions to ask you. Okay. So like, how is life over here in Budapest? Well, it's pretty hard if you're living alone or you try to make a living at a young age. Okay. You know, the highest prices in the house, the flat price is raised up so much and the salary is, is just not good. good. Well, it's not enough, to be honest. Okay, like so, for example, how much is the salary and how much is the cost of an apartment? So an average apartment costs maybe, I don't know which district you are looking for. Yeah. It costs like 150,000 to 200,000 okay. per month. That is... Uh, and the average salary is maybe like 300,000. 300,000. So you don't have much. Like 300,000 is like uh, 700 euros? Around there, maybe. Yeah, uh, okay. Euros. So that means 200, 150,000 to 200,000, that it will be like uh, 400 to 500 yeah, yeah, for the apartment. There, yeah, yeah. So, that the apartment. so that so means at the end of the day, you have nothing to li well, live with. You have nothing to live. Ooh. So you have to make a really good fortune, or you have to, you know, um, get into a building with someone, rent a flat together. Okay. That's the only way you can do it. Okay. If, you, if you don't have a parental support, you know, it's pretty hard. Okay. But what about uh, students? Is there any special uh, help for students? Uh, no. You know, there is two things. You know, the country will pay mm. for your education. And okay. if you don't get accepted, you have to pay for your education, which you can loan money for, and you okay. have to pay back after you graduated. From the bank. Wow. Yeah. So thank you very much You're for welcome. sharing. I really thank appreciate it. So thank you. Take care. Hello. Hi. <laughs> How are you? Good. And you? Great. Thanks for asking. I have a question for you. So how to live in Budapest? I would say there's so many different places. So always try and find a different cafe or restaurant to try out. Okay. The food here is amazing and there's okay. a, uh, such a variety of different countries represented in the food. Okay. Um, you have a lot of different cultures meeting here because there's so many different people. Okay. So you always have different uh, cultures you can see and um, get more experience learning okay. about. Um, so you said you are from Norway? Yes. She's been studying here for the past uh, five years. So. Yeah. What can you say about the studies in terms of school um, and the accommodation? Yeah, no, I, uh, I rent from um, a Norwegian lady that okay. I uh, happened to stumble across on Facebook. Um, I study veterinary, it's very hard. <laughs> so if veterinary. you want, yeah, if you, if you want to study veterinary and just know that it's a very hard subject that you 
have to use almost all of your time studying for. Wow. Yeah. So most of my time is spent studying. Studying. Yeah. Okay. So I wish I could travel because uh, Budapest is such a connected, so it's easy to get to different countries as well. It's like so the center of, of Europe. Yeah. So a lot of my friends are have traveled a lot, but I haven't. Because of your studies. Yeah. So how, how long you will finish your studies now? Because I have half five a year, year left. Ah, you have yeah. already gone. Yeah. You, you have endured and resisted and persisted for about five years. Yeah. So, so remaining one and uh, half a year or one and a half year? No, uh, half a year. Yeah. Half a year. It's yeah. finished. <laughs> it's finished. So uh, I already congratulate you in advance. Thank you. <laughs> so thank you very much for sharing your yeah. honest opinion. I really appreciate your time. Yeah. How are you? I'm good. How about you? Great. How is life here in Budapest? What can you share how to live here in Budapest from your experience and how long you've been living here? It's been one year since I got to Budapest and yes. life is uh, really good here. Okay. We have a lot of opportunities. Okay. Uh, the reason why I chose Budapest is, is because it's kind of a uh, cheap place if you compare it with the other European region. Yes. So it's a kind of cheap place to live so you can afford it, afford it and there are many uh, opportunities but if you want to work part time so you will get like a lot of opportunities. You can find jobs here. Okay. You can work here and you can earn good money to just to finance your monthly expenses. Yes. So yeah, life is really good here. How, for example, for the Salary, how much is salary? Uh, the minimum? As a, as a student, you are only allowed to like, uh, work 40 hours in a week. So monthly, if you work for 160 hours, you will be earning around about 300k. In euros, that would be around about 700 euros. 700 euros. Oh. But it's not that much. But mm. uh, if, as I told you, Budapest is kind of cheap place. So mm. yeah, with, it, with that 300k, you can live a good life in Budapest. Okay, so what kind of job you are uh, suggesting for young people, students, foreigners, what kind of job they can get? Yeah, easy? until you graduate, you will have to work part-time and uh, if you're working part-time, you cannot get a good job. So you will be working in either in restaurants as, or uh, food delivery, Volt or other food delivery services. Okay. Uh, for me, I'm working as a promoter. I'm working in tourism industry, and it's really good job for me. Okay. And I'm kind of enjoying it as well. Oh, bro! So you're meeting a lot of people yeah, yeah. from all I, over I, the world. I get to interact with a lot of international tourists, so it's it's good for my communication skills, and it's also good for my learning as well. Oh, great, great. So, uh, how much is the cost of uh, an apartment or a room? It's not that much. You can get a good, uh, a good room, your private room in a shared flat in like maximum 90, 90K. That's uh, almost 250 euros. Okay. So you can get your private room in a shared flat. But if you want to share your room, then you can get a room in a shared flat in a shared room in 150 euros. Oh, so great. He has shared with us a lot. So what are you studying here? I'm doing PhD in public health. PhD in public health? Yes. You come from Pakistan? Yes. So what kind of document you need to be able to come here to study and also be able to get their resident permit in order to be regular, to put your studies and to do your part-time work? Yeah, for me, I am a self-financing student. Okay. But there are a lot of uh, scholarships available as well in Hungary, especially okay. stipendium is a really good scholarship. Okay. But I'm self-financing. Okay. If you are coming as a self-financing student, then uh, it's a bit difficult. You have to kind of submit your bank statement that you can afford your monthly li uh, living expenses and you can also afford your tuition fee yeah. and all other expenses. So it's, it's, it's a bit difficult when you are a self-funded student. Yeah. Otherwise, there are a lot of scholarship opportunities as well. But if you're a self-funded student, you will only have to like secure the admission in any of the universities. There are like uh, top three universities. Uh, 
one is University of Debrecen, other is University of Page, and the third is Semmelweis University. Uh, according to my field, uh, yeah. as I am a healthcare professional, so these are the best options for me. Okay. But I am studying at University of Page. It's not that much. The tuition fee is like, yeah, it's it's, it's cheap. You, I am paying six thousand euros per annum, so I can afford it. So that's why I chose Hungary, and yeah, I am here now. Oh, that's great. That's great. And you're enjoying your time here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's, it's a really beautiful city. Yeah, it's beautiful. And the people are nice too. Uh, they are not racist. Cool. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a good place to live. Oh, great, great, great. Uh, I wish you all the best for your studies and uh, I hope you come out successfully with your PhD. Thank you so much. That's kind of you. So I'm right here with an Hungarian. So we're going to, he's going to share with us how is life right here in Hungary, how to live here as an Hungarian. What are your honest advice for a foreigner, a foreign student, or maybe any foreigner who wants to come over here for and studies here? or also live here? Live right? here yes. Yeah. Well, uh, Hungary is a welcoming uh, country. Okay. We, we welcome every people from around the world. Okay. Uh, you will never need to worry about uh, having like prejudices and so on. Okay. And uh, the city is livable. Like uh, you won't get that big salary like you get in Germany, but the prices are not that high even. Okay. So it's affordable to live here, and uh, there are many many options for uh, students who come abroad to study here. We have quite nice education system, and we have many many people coming here. From so, all around the world, from Azerbaijan, from uh, Uzbekistan, and from, from Palestine, from Pakistan, and from African countries as well. Okay. Uh, I also have colleagues okay. from Ghana, from Senegal, from, from Tunisia, from yeah. these countries. And most of them are students who are doing this summertime job with us. Okay, great. And how, how much is the uh the cost of living for example uh, uh how much is salary normal salary salary well uh, the normal salary is around four hundred thousand five hundred thousand uh, which is in euros let's say one thousand euros what an average hungarian is making yes uh the price is uh, for rent a house it can be different depending on if you live alone want to live alone or want mm. to live with friends that's mm -hmm. a huge huge factor here mm. because uh, you can easily spend 150,000 for a month for living if you live alone if you live with friends it's cheaper okay to rent a flat and have one room is, is a bit better option for those who want to come here oh thank you very much for sharing I really appreciate your time. And what's your name? My name is Shoma. Shoma, nice to meet you, Shoma. I'm Joel. Nice to meet you guys. <laughs> Thank you. So I'm going to a village. I'm going to introduce some new, new uh, kind of videos uh, in my channel from henceforth. I'm going to visit the most dangerous um, neighborhood in the city. And also I'm going to village. If is it dangerous as a black man to visit out of the city center of Budapest? Let's see. I am Joel Tamara. If you like my videos, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification so you will get notified of my upcoming videos. As I take you to every country on head. Until then, have a wonderful and inspiring day. Bye-bye.